this is my current concrete form and as far as it is good i could do way better so i bought this enjoy and i think i should put it right here and here are all the materials i need so let's go starting off with the flooring and there we go now i actually need to fill it with some glass and there we go the reason why there's gaps here is because i want to do something like this with the colors so that means i have to grab all of this so there are going to be four item sorters for each color and that explains why this is so massive and there we go also i actually done them a coordinator so if you search up concrete these are the colors that would actually show anyways i can actually put all of this away and now we'll start with the item sorter which is going to take me a very long time so i'll see you guys then and there we go if you're wondering why there is packed dice here well i need to go connect them with glass just like this and then on top of the hoppers i need some deep slate walls and then also i just need some honey there and some right there and also we need some signs just like that and now i'm going to put most of this stuff in here and grab my water buckets well they're not water buckets they're buckets but now they are water buckets because now i just need to start placing water I literally just need one more water bucket and there we go now the item sorting is very big but the concrete farm itself is so small like oh my god but anyways we actually need to go make a collection system for this which is very small so let me quickly do that and there we go it's done yeah literally just that and now I can finally work on the concrete farm which is gonna be up there but first i do want to go to sleep so let's do that right so up here this is sort of like the platform world wall can actually you know use the concrete farm and right here is where i will be placing the concrete as you can see we've got four slots so it's decently far i have added obsidian below here because there will be a tnt duper and i don't want it breaking the farm so some of it is just obsidian anyways i've added a bit more glass and right here i need leaves because if you guys didn't know to convert concrete powder to concrete you need water and with 1.19 we can waterlog leaves and it works just the same so i'm going to be using leaves right above there i need some pistons along with some sea lanterns for a bit of decoration and to light up the place so right here is specifically where i'll be standing and placing the concrete but we actually need to go make the on and off switch for this farm so i'm going to need this this and some of those where, where, where is the farm okay so right here is going to be the on and off switch and behind it i need an observer along with another observer and deep slate and then i need a sticky piston there and then some stuff like this because i am making like a zero tick piston so those pistons will be extremely far but i do need this because i need some redstone like that then some deep slate with a button then redstone there along with glass deep slate slime and a sticky piston two deep slate there then a repeater on two ticks with an observer there along with glass and an observer right there perfect so now if i flick this um excuse me what's happened oh i need redstone stupid this is very low for me but with the power of editing it's not for you guys but as you can see this is happening now it doesn't look like it's turned on but it is if i just do this and then have something like this as you can see it's extremely fast anyways that is loud so let's turn that off peace at last and now all i need to do is hook this up to those pistons and i'm pretty sure i can just do this and there we go also what this thingy is here is that 
This will dispense out all the concrete powder. So this farm is fully automatic. Anyways, now right here, I need some packed ice with soul soil, then a sign, and then some glass. I need it this high, and then I'm going to want my hoppies and chest, but I want to go to sleep. Right, there we go. I need chest there along with four droppers along there with hoppers. Now having one hopper like that is way too slow, so what I've done is I've done this so now look at how quickly it takes all the items and now i just need to do that and with my last ladder place it there but also with these last hoppers they go right there and i can close this all off and close the top right now all i need is some water buckets i think all of this should be enough anyways i'm not gonna make you guys watch me build the tnt duper so i'll be right back And there we go, it is done. And what I meant by the concrete farm is so small. I mean, look at it. Is that not small? Anyways, before I can actually test it, I obviously need to item sort. And that is not going to take me long because I am not going to get 41 items of every color. But I can just go put one in for everyone. I can't explain it, so I'm just gonna show you guys. So instead, I could just do that yeah so that is what i'm going to do i'll see you guys then and lastly done that took so long but now i can actually just go throw all of this stuff away and they should just item sort themselves right perfect now we can actually test this farm but first i want to test the farm to see if it even works so if i flick this lever all of this should start working and nothing breaks okay oh i think we're good as you can see oh i am taking a bit of damage a few moments later right okay let's see if this works no Right, okay people, I am now back. I just moved the TNT Jupa by one block. And now, if I stand right here, as you can see, I don't take damage. If I stand forward a bit, I do. So, I just have to aim right there. Anyways, I'll turn this off for now. Because I've got a lot of concrete powder. And we're going to test this fob. So, I say we put about three in each. So, one, two, three... So that's 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 stacks of concrete. Let's see how fast it can convert it. But theoretically, if I do this, yes. Okay, uh, I have made a mistake. I need to play some water. Right, let's test this farm. Right, I do have carpet mod, so I do just have like an auto clicker on here. So I'm going to use that. And let's see how fast it can convert it in 3, 2, 1, now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at how fast this thingy is going. Here's a look from replay mods. Jesus Christ. As you can see, it is already going down. Right, that took 40 seconds to get 12 stacks. And also, if you have the remaining parts like this, you can literally just mine it out. Just like that. So you don't lose any blocks. And... Yep, it all got collected, as you can see. So, it will convert about this much in 40 seconds. Jesus Christ. And I did do the maths, this thing it gets you about 75,000 an hour. Well, I think it's safe to say this farm is OP and definitely worth building. Because, I mean, look at how small it is. Anyways, I think this is a perfect place to end the video, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you did enjoy it, please like so you know you did. And yeah, I love you all. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. By the way, Dirt Farm next video.